uh, River Avenue Low Pressure Single Family Home, Column 5, represents the typical cost of an in district low pressure sewer connection. So the total project cost of this is going to be $2.35 million. Uh, that includes construction and engineering fees. When you take the grant that the village has received from DASNY, the $1 million grant, and the $1 million that the Patrick Sewer Fund is going to contribute to the project, the total debt service, which is line six, <coughs> column three, to the homeowners in the area, is <coughs> $150,000. When you equate that to a bond that the village is going to take out over 30 years at 3%, it equates to $18,000. So you say, what does that do to each homeowner? Well, you've got to look at the project as a car. There's two components of the system. You actually got to purchase the car, which is your loan, and then you got the maintenance and the average gas that you've got to use to fill up the car. So the annual sewer cost, you look at the sewer tax, which is based on the debt service and the actual usage of the sewer system. The cost of the whole sewer system for a typical low pressure sewer resident is about $699. Whereas if you're in district, because of the debt service of the whole district, you're looking at $770. <coughs> so it's approximately $80 less a year for annual service. And then you got to look at the operation and maintenance costs for each property. It's going to be the same as any low pressure sewer. You got the electrical usage, which is around $50 a year, and you have the sewer maintenance contract, which is required from Suffolk County Health Department to be in purchase with the vendor of the actual pump system, which is an additional $275. So you look at a total annual cost for a typical resident on River Avenue $1,024 per year. Now we have to look at the total cost of the pump station um, and the equipment and the installation. Right now, you're looking at $10,500 per property to install, connect, have everything <coughs> complete, plus you got to <coughs> repurpose the existing, we've talked to the health department about repurposing the existing septic system and leaching systems to take on storm, what the roof drainage runoff. The runoff is going to, the cost for the on-site runoff is about $1,250. So when you look at your total upfront costs for each individual owner on River Avenue, you're looking at approximately $1,250 upfront with the $10,500 grant that the village received from Suffolk County Sewer Fund. Um, if Suffolk County Health Department does not allow us to go forward with repurposing the septic systems. Each septic system will have to be abandoned as per health department requirements at a cost to the homeowner. When will we know that? We'll know that upon final. We're submitting for final, <coughs> submit final documents for approval by the health department next week. So when we look at the project right now, the project is going to the health department for uh, review. We'll be ready to bid that, this project, at the end of the month. Um, beginning of April. So we're looking at a construction period of about 12 months for this project. Um, we're going to go through the winter and each property will have their homes disturbed at some point, putting in the roads, drainage, but they'll always maintain access at the end of each day to the property. Do <coughs> you have any questions? Please, please. Yeah.